Pat McGuinness National Housing Party. I'm out leafleting in Mitcham, and um, we got a candidate down here, and uh, just warming up the um, the ward with the warm-up leaflet, recruitment leaflet. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is when I go leafleting, I proudly wear my Christian Christian cross, and you know, I get a lot of people, a lot of lefties saying to me, oh, call yourself a Christian, you want to stop immigration, right? Let's get this thing straight. A nation means for the native people. That's where nation, the, the, the name nation comes from, right? So flooding a country with people, millions of people who are not native to that country and giving them permanent citizenship is anti-Christian. So I am very proud to be campaigning to save this Christian nation. All of our flags have got Christian crosses in them. You've got the St. Patrick's flag, you've got the St. George's flag, you've got St. Andrew's flag, you've got the St. David's flag for Wales, which is black with a yellow cross, and you've got the uh, Ulster banner for Northern Ireland. So all these lefties who keep saying this to me, oh, call yourself a Christian, you, you, you want to stop immigration and stop giving refugee citizenship, right? Obviously, refugees should be temporarily helped, but we're, we're, we're well out of the way of that now. It's like completely out of the question now to even do that. We're trillions in debt, over one million waiting for council flats. We've helped enough refugees, yeah? But they should never have been given citizenship in the first place. I, I, I'm... I'm quite honest about this I think it's completely wrong the only way into a nation permanently should be through a marriage that's my opinion on that however National Housing Party are not campaigning to reverse this we're campaigning to stop any further permanent settlement immigration any further refugees being given citizenship and as I said we can't even temporarily help them anymore because of the 1951 Refugee Convention that's changed everything gave one single refugee, more rights than a whole nation. So I'll say it again, I'm very proud to display my Christian cross. I'm out campaigning. And um, all you gotta do is go to the Bible and look at Acts 17, 26. God created the nations. And if you're flooding a country with people who are not native to that nation, it's wrong. You know, it's uh, completely wrong, especially <laughs> if they're not Christian. You know, this is a Christian nation. So if you want to get involved, please contact us. You know, we, we, we've got campaigns going in um, Mitcham, Sutton, Brighton, North London, Camden, uh, the Wirral, Merseyside. And, um, you know, it's all very busy at the moment. We're continually uh, leafleting and stuff. So we do need help to expand. Um, this is the best time in history, guys, to stand in elections against the Lib Lab Con, they're on their last legs. It's literally the best time in history for a nationalist party to stand, yeah? Even the ethnic minorities want immigration stopped. They don't want any more refugees coming in. They're all on a waiting list. It's so easy to get votes with our campaign. At the vehicle we've created is the best vehicle to go knocking on doors for. Housing affects everyone. And it's not just the social housing sector it's also the private sector the prices are out of control because our housing market is on the globalist market and there's a in 2021 i believe there was 250,000 people owning properties in this country who are not uk citizens so they probably don't even live in this country and it's completely wrong it's pushing up the prices out of reach for the working class and the middle class so National Housing Party is the way forward for nationalism. You know, we are prepared to work with ethnic minorities, you know, as long as they respect our uh, policies, it's no problem. It's in their interest too. So thanks for watching and Jesus Christ is King. Thank you very much.